today we're going to go through the process of replacing the gimbal on my DJI Mavic Air 2. We had a bit of an unfortunate incident with a tree branch and the gimbal definitely broke when it hit the ground. Fortunately the replacement is a very simple process, albeit an expensive one with a couple of small caveats which we will touch on in a bit. To start off, let's go ahead and remove the bottom plate. This requires a 1 16th hex bit for the 6 screws that hold it on. The caveat I mentioned a moment ago is that replacing the gimbal yourself is going to lead to a few issues. When you first power on the drone, you'll notice that the gimbal will not point forward. This is a very simple fix and sometimes can be done by manually calibrating the gimbal in the app itself. But if yours is too far out of spec, there is a way to do it by connecting your drone to your computer, which I'll touch on in a second video. Once all six screws are removed, go ahead and remove the bottom plate and the small black cable guard in front of the ribbon cables. Detach the two ribbon cables that are at the front of the board and then move on to unscrewing the gimbal assembly itself. The gimbal is held on with six screws, four 1 16th hex screws, and then two tiny T5 torque screws at the front of the gimbal assembly. Once all six screws are removed, you'll want to lift the assembly out by pushing the front of the assembly back while pulling up from the rear. The front actually slots into the body of the drone slightly and helps align everything, so you have to slide it back out of that little groove first before it'll come free. Putting in the new gimbal assembly is just the opposite of removing it and is very simple. Just make sure not to damage the ribbon cables as you handle it and then place it down into the drone body, making sure that the front of the assembly goes in first and then slide the back down the rest of the way. Once it's in place, go ahead and fight with all six of the screws and getting them back in their respective holes. I highly recommend a pair of needle nose tweezers as it'll make your life much easier trying to get these screws where they need to go. Also, be smarter than me and fit one end of the tweezers into the head of the screw and the other side on the outside of the screw so you don't drop them like I did many times.
the last thing to do for the gimbal assembly is to reconnect the two ribbon cables onto the main board that's on the body. Simply line them up, putting the wider ribbon cable down first, and press them in with light pressure. If they don't want to easily connect in, do not force it. Reposition the ribbon cable until it is easily able to be pressed on. Once both ribbon cables are on, go ahead and put the black ribbon guard back in place and don't forget it like I almost did. It lines up with the four holes on the body and simply presses on. After that's done, put the bottom body panel back on with its six screws. Once it finishes moving, copy and paste the second command and hit enter. It should go through another set of motions and then be done and calibrated, and you should be good to fly now. Now there will still be errors regarding the IMU, which I have not figured out how to clear yet, but once I do I'll put out a video on that as well. Thanks so much for watching, and as always if you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all new content. Python script has changed with recent updates, so a lot of the older videos on it don't have the correct code to run. After replacing the gimbal in your drone, you may need to go through a few commands on the computer to calibrate it properly. This is a very simple process that requires plugging your drone into your computer and running a couple of Python commands in your command prompt. Let's go through it together. All links and information will be in the description below. We need to start off with downloading and installing Python. We'll be using the latest version as of this video, Python 3.10.1. Go ahead and click on download, and then on the page it brings you to, scroll to the bottom and click on Windows 10 installer, 64-bit. On the installer box, make sure to click on Add Python 3.10 to Path at the bottom before clicking Install Now. Once it's finished installing, we'll move on to downloading the rest of the stuff we need. Next on the list is PySerial, which lets Python communicate with serial ports. Download the top file named PySerial3.5.tar.gz. After that, move on over to the next tab, GitHub, which is where we have DGI tools. Click on the green code button at the top right, and then click on Download Zip. From there, we need a way to extract these files, so open a new tab and go to 7-zip.org and click on Download for 64-bit x64. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and install it. Go ahead and browse to your download files to begin extracting everything. Right click on Pi Serial and go down to 7-zip and then click Extract Here. Then click on the new folder it created, Pi Serial 3.5.tar, click on the Dist folder, right click on Pi Serial 3.5.tar, go to 7-zip and again click Extract Here. Open the Pi Serial 3.5 file, highlight everything inside of it, right click and click Copy, and then go to your local disk C drive. Create a new folder called DJI. Open that folder, right click and click paste. Go back to your downloads and this time extract the DJI firmware tools file. Open the folder it creates, select all files by either dragging or by holding control and pressing A then right click and copy, 
Then go back to the DJI folder we just created, right click and click paste. We're now ready to connect our drone. Make sure to power your drone on before connecting it to your computer. Once it goes through its startup motions, open the USB-C port on the left side of your drone and connect your cable in. Once it's plugged in, we need to take a look and see which communication port it shows. To do this, click on your start menu at the bottom left and type in Device Manager and open it. Or you can right click on the start menu icon and select Device Manager. Once it opens, click on the arrow next to Ports and take note of the COM port number. In my case, it is COM6. We can now close out of the device manager and start the actual Python part. Click on your start menu again and type in CMD for command prompt. Click on Run as Administrator in the panel on the right hand side. From here, we need to get to just the C drive. Do this by typing CD period period and hit Enter. You may need to do this twice. Once it shows only C colon slash, type in CD, then put a space, then type DJI and hit enter. Next, we will need to type in a couple of commands. The commands are in the description below and I recommend copying them into a notepad and then adjusting them as need be. Before we go into that, let me explain the code we're going to be executing here. We start with PY, which tells command prompt to use Python. Next, we have com underscore og underscore service underscore tool dot pi, which tells Python which file to call for. Then we have dash dash port com6. This tells it where to look for the communication port. You will need to adjust this part of the code for whatever com port number you have. So if you had com3, just change the 6 to a 3. Next is wm231. This is the code for a Mavic Air 2. I will post the rest of the codes that the script has for other drones in the description. If you were to do this on something like a Mavic Mini, for example, that is code WM160 and you would just change the respective numbers. The next two parts are case sensitive and reference a command to run, so gimbal calibration and joint course. I have no idea what joint course means, but it's fine. You can copy and paste the code from a notepad into the command prompt by simply right clicking inside of the command prompt to paste it, or by pressing Ctrl and V as in Victor. After you hit enter, the drone should begin its calibration process. Ignore the error, unrecognized response to calibration command joint course request. Once it finishes moving, copy and paste the second command and hit enter. It should go through another set of motions and then be done and calibrated, and you should be good to fly now. Now, there will still be errors regarding the IMU, which I have not figured out how to clear yet, but once I do, I'll put out a video on that as well. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, if you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all new content as it comes out. Take care.